Hi there. Welcome to Medical Microbiology. Today, we will have a lecture on Chapter 3, which is Tools of the Laboratory. So this chapter will have four lectures. The first lecture is culturing methods. The second lecture is microscopes. The third lecture is staining methods. And the last lecture is media for culture. So we'll start with the first lecture, which is technique in culturing microbes. The technique is called five eyes technique because it has five eyes in this technique. The first eye is called inoculation. Inoculation is a process of placement of samples onto media. And then after inoculation, we will put this culture inside incubator okay, in the incubator the incubator is the chamber that we can control the temperatures okay. so that process is called incubation so this is the second eye after 24 or 48 hours we take the sample out from the incubator and then we observe the result, how they look like. So from these observations, you might be able to see different type of colonies with different shape and different colors. So this process is called inspection. This is the third eye different color different shape of colonies is telling us that they are different species if we want to take one species and then culture them into a pure culture then we go to the, the next process is called the isolation so isolation is the process of isolating specific bacteria based on the colony and the shape and then put it in the new culture media and then we put it in the incubator after 24 48 hours then we will have the bacteria that will have the same colonies the same shape of colonies the same colors of colony because what because they are pure culture because they are the same species and then if we want to continue to identify to identify what species is that then we go to the next process is called the identification there are three different methods to identify the microbes the first one using what we call the phenotypes which is the characteristic of bacteria or, or organism based on their shape for example uh, colors the second method will be using dna this is what we call the genotype and the last method will be using the antigens antibodies complex this is what we call the immunology method okay. so we will learn the identification of microbes in chapter 17. now we start with the five eyes methods again start with the inoculation inoculations of microorganisms so this is again placement of samples into the media into the place where these microbes will grow there are several type of 
uh, media like for example this media is agar media okay this is uh, agar media so we take a sample and put that sample on this media this is a liquid media so we put the sample and then put it inside this media and this media is living media okay which is a, an egg or embryo so this is usually for viruses so viruses need living media like birth embryo so this process is called a inoculation placement of samples into the growth media the next process is incubations and again incubation is placement of the culture media okay into the chamber so that chamber has specific temperatures so we can control the temperature with uh, whether a warmer or colder temperature it is based on what type of bacteria that will be uh, used okay so if it is bacteria that usually parasite to humans so the temperature usually control around 37 centigrade which is around 98 Fahrenheit okay and then after incubation we take the sample out and observe the result so we can use our own eyes naked eyes to observe the growth of bacteria in this media so what we see over here is actually the colonies of bacteria one colony consists of million of bacteria and they usually create different colonies for different bacteria so there may be round colonies with yellow color, round colony with white color, tan color, and etc. And these different colonies telling us that they are actually different bacteria. If you want to see the cell, right, because the cell is very small, then we have to take the samples and then put it on the slide okay and then after that we observe under the microscope and then we'll see the shape of bacteria so the cell shape may be round or maybe rod okay so round cell is called coccus the rod cell is called the bacillus or maybe there are some cell that look like a spiral okay, so this is cell shape okay each individual cell of bacteria the colonies again is consists of million of cells so we cannot really see the cell shape from the colony this is example of observation or inspection of inspection over here so this is you see that the yellow colony another yellow colony yellow colony so the one that has the same shape and the same color is actually the same bacteria okay so this is the same species there is one that you know this is white round white round white or a little bit tan for example so this is also telling us this the same species but this white and yellow they are different species okay so this is the observation of colony this is another observation of colony okay with different color this is white color and even it doesn't have a round shape for example this is telling us there are two type of bacteria 
okay, on this media. And this is the same thing using the SLAN agar media. You see this is the white one, this is bacteria, this is another one, yellow bacteria, this is another color bacteria. So this actually three different type of bacteria. So each of this is pure culture. This is one type bacteria, this is one type of bacteria, and this is one type of bacteria. So this pure culture actually taken from this mixed culture. Okay, so for some of the yellow one, it's actually taken from here, you know, isolate here into this. The white one, for example, okay, take it from here and then isolate into this media and the red one okay, from here put it here so these three test tube over here okay consists of each pure culture of bacteria okay so that's the uh, inspection and the isolation this is how to isolate that bacteria again on the media maybe we will see different type of bacteria it's called a mixed culture and then we take just one bacteria here maybe yellow here and then the white one here then this one is become pure culture of bacteria again this is continue isolation again this is mixed culture you have yellow one uh, we have different color over here. So these are the this actually mixed culture with two different type of bacteria. So you can take this and then put it in another media. Okay, put it here. And then all of this you know after incubation will produce the same type of colony because what because they are pure culture the same thing with the other one okay so let's say this one we take it here we put it in different media and then incubate them then you will have the same colony over here because this is also the pure culture so this is what we call the isolation isolate specific bacteria to grow a pure culture there are several techniques for isolation okay. the first technique is called the strict plate technique which is we streak okay. we streak the media using the uh, inoculating loops so usually we make four streak okay, on the media so this is the first streak like this okay And they use blue color first trick, boom, 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 boom. Okay. And then the second trick will be, as I use black color, going here. Okay. And then the third trick will be, as I use this color, going here. Okay. And the last one. from here to here, okay? So basically you will have four regions, okay, four quadrants. The first quadrant, the, the blue one over here, will have a lot of bacteria because this is the first strip. Still a lot of colonies. And then on the second strip, the colony will be less, okay? As you see over here, this is the first strip. So many colony. And then become less and then the third one become less colony and the fourth one is become less colony actually 
over there the colonies will be separated so you will be able to see this individual colony over here so this is actually the fourth streak over here the first one here you don't really see you don't really see the colony so this one is really difficult to see the colony because they are still combined together okay so when you do the second streak the third streak and finally the fourth streak on the fourth streak then the colony will be separated you should be able to see the colony easily so that's the first technique is called the straight plate the second technique is called the pour plate technique which is dilution okay you should dilute the first culture okay and then uh, grow it in the agar media and then dilute it into the second you know uh, culture and then put it in the agar media and then dilute it again and then put it in the media so number three over here will give us the spirit uh, spirited colony so it's going to be easy to see the colonies on the first one over here it's really difficult to see the colony because they just combine together okay so this is what we call the four plate technique the last one is called the spread plate technique okay using you know put this uh, cultures okay on the agar media and then spread it with the hockey stick spread it evenly and then put it in the incubations and then after 24 or 48 hours then we observe the result and then you will see that colony so each small dot yellow dot over here is one colony and the other color is also the other color okay so this is the third technique which is called the spread plat technique to isolate bacteria the last i will be the identification okay if we really want to know what bacteria that we have for example if we take a sample from the patient and we want to know what bacteria that actually causing the disease then we have to continue with identification again for the identification there are three methods using phenotype genotype or immunological method again we will study this identification method in chapter 17 okay so using morphology which is uh, phenotype so this is phenotype uh, method okay and then this one using dna is gonna be phenotype Right. and using the antigen antibody is called the immunologic immunological method okay so this one these are the three methods that use for identifying microbes now how about this biochemical this biochemical could be could be used in phenotype okay? also could be used in immunological methods okay it depends on uh, what type of reaction that we uh, use okay for testing so again for the identification of microbes there are three methods phenotypic genotypic and immunological methods these methods will be studied in chapter 17. I think that's enough for the first lecture 
on chapter 3. We will meet again on the next lecture, which is microscope. Goodbye.